on Google Hangouts Air. We're going to go uh, live on, we already are live, okay, great, on GoToWebinar. And let's see where else. got Tennessee, uh, Amsterdam, uh, Southern California. What, what part of Southern California, Mark? That's cool. Um, obviously, I'm in Los Angeles, and uh, it's uh, a little bit windy up here. But uh, cool. So we got everything going. Let's see how many we have. Uh, how many people we have watching so far? Okay, cool. So we we got uh, a couple hundred uh, on the the various streams. We got Bronson from uh, downtown LA. Very cool. So starting a uh, starting a couple minutes. Just letting some uh, some more people kind of uh, uh, straggle in. And we're going to uh, get started in just a few minutes. We're going to talk about niche selection. So um, as we're, we're getting started, I kind of want to, uh, to hear from you guys. Give me a niche that you'd like me to, uh, to run with. Give me a niche that you'd like me to actually uh, build out. We're going to build a store, and it's going to be in a niche that, uh, you know, you guys literally get to pick, right? Whatever, uh, whatever you want, right? Post it out in the comments um, on Google Hangouts. Post it up in the question box. Uh, we got, let's see, owl, uh, owl lovers niche, jewelry, spiritual, new age, money. So uh, Pierre says jewelry. I'm going to say Pierre. That's that, To me, that's not a niche, okay? And uh, cat, cat jewelry would be a product that I sell in my cat store. Cats is definitely a niche. But jewelry, I think, is a product type, okay? And I think there's a big difference there. You have a product type. Um, that's one thing. But you have a niche, which would be like an, uh, an interest, right? And we always want to focus on interest. That's super important. Right. Your niche shouldn't be a product type. It should be a uh, an interest or a hobby or a job title, right? And uh, I always um, – let's see if, I, if this is going to load. I know my server has been a little slow. Let's see if this loads up. Okay, so I got this little list of 40 hot niches inside of Shopify. And, you know, you can see things here where, you know, you don't see jewelry, right? You don't see T-shirts. You don't see pillowcases. Those are types of products. But you see dentists, teachers, chicken, cows, running, reading, weightlifting, tennis, right? Those are interests, right? We want to pick an interest to build as our niche. And Bronson, Bronson has some good niches, but he doesn't want to give them away. That's greedy, man. You should, uh, you should share it so we can all take your niche and uh, and copy. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously just kidding. That's cool. You don't, have, you don't need to share uh, if you don't want. Uh, nurses and golf, those are great. Um, but we've actually done those. I think uh, golf was the first one that we did, and uh, nurses might have been the second or third one that we did. So those are good. Um, are you sharing your screen to go to webinar? Yeah, I uh, I should. <laughs> I forgot to do that. So let me uh, let me get that on here. Okay, give me uh, give me a two in the chat box uh, on GoTo webinar. Give me a two in the chat box if you uh, if you can see my screen. Okay, great. And you guys see me? You, know, you see me? I'm I'm off screen now, and uh, I'm gonna put my screen on. So, okay, two, 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 everyone sees. You should see, if you're uh, in GoToWebinar, you should see this little uh, PDF screen. If you're on Google Hangouts on air, uh, you should also be seeing this little PDF screen. Christian says, hair is getting long. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm, trying to, uh, I'm trying to grow it out. I'm trying to bring back, um, you know, 2005 emo style and just have some bangs over my eyes and things like that. So that's the goal. I don't think there would be any, uh, you know, I want to go up and give a talk at uh, Ty Lopez and just have the most ridiculous hairstyle possible so I lose all credibility. So thank you for that, Christian. I appreciate it. So you guys are seeing, you guys are saying you see a, black, a blank screen. You're right, because I paused it. Um, now you should be seeing this PDF, um, right, this little 40 hot niches. Can you guys see that? Give me, a, give me a one in the chat box now if you see the PDF. Okay, great, great. So we should be good now. We're, uh, we're a little bit, uh, I think, Plenty of time now for uh, you know for some of the stragglers to uh, to come on, and let me share out this again. And okay, so what other uh, what other niches do we want to do, guys? What niches should we test? What niches should we build? Um, Bronson, uh, you know that that is a good niche. Bronson, Bronson, uh, I won't uh, I won't uh, give that one away. And I'm actually building a a store in that niche with a partner right now, so that's good. And uh, I think it's a big one. Obviously, people are very passionate about things, and, and that's a big key, right? You want to find a niche where people are super passionate about things, right? It's it's not about um, it's not about something that you know just you know you think could make money. It needs to be something where there's, you know, significant amounts of passion in it, right? I have one of my biggest stores is a cat store, right? And clearly people are super passionate about cats, right? A lot of people want to do a dog store or a specific breed of dogs, right? Because people 
are uh, super passionate about dogs or, you know, specific breeds of dogs. So uh, let's see, I'm going to just uh, give a quick uh, refresh here and see what kind of niches uh, we can see, what kind of niches you guys want to see, and then we'll pick one in a, uh, in a few seconds. Um, so a lot of people want to see golf. Uh, guys, we did golf, and I, I'm not sure if maybe there's a lot of golf fans here, but I think uh, that was one of our, um, really one of our first that we did in there. Uh, so, uh, cooking, oh, that's an interesting one. I think cooking is pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's an weightlifting. Yeah, weightlifting is definitely a, uh, a super, super popular one. Um, guitar, yeah, we actually, uh, I believe we did guitar a few, uh, weeks ago. Um, okay. Oh, bowling, that's an interesting one. How is, how is Moo Commerce going? Uh, uh, Jan or, or John, I'm sorry for mispronouncing your name uh, incorrectly, but he was uh, uh, here for when we did a, uh, a cow store. I think that was two weeks ago. Last week we did a pig store, uh, and we uh, I think it was called Swaggy Pig. And two weeks ago we did a cow store. It was called Moo Commerce. So uh, the niches on screen are Facebook ad options. Yes, yeah, these, are, these are absolutely great, uh, great niches that we can do. And uh, uh, you know what? Let's... Um, Let's do bowling. I see a couple of people saying bowling uh, or bicycling. That's a pretty good one too. Uh, okay, bowling or bicycling. Let's just do bowling. Let's do bowling. You know, it's, a, it's kind of a unique one. And uh, I actually, I don't even know how this is happening, but I've consistently over the past year, maybe even more, I constantly like always get targeted for bowling shirts. Maybe I must like some bowling page or something. Um, actually, yeah, I think I like a, a bowling, uh, a professional bowler on Facebook. I'm constantly getting targeted with funny bowling shirts. So uh, I think that'll be a cool one to do, and I don't think I'm stepping on anyone's toes here because uh, <laughs> unless uh, you know, if, if you were planning to use bowling as a niche, uh, uh, I'm sorry if you think that I'm outing you right now, but we're gonna go with bowling, okay? And um, we need to prove the niche first. That's the big thing, okay? And uh, to prove the niche, we're gonna do that inside of Facebook ads, and we're not gonna even build an ad. We're just gonna simply we need to prove that uh, we need to prove that inside of Facebook, there are enough people inside the bowling niche. Okay, so I'm going to bring over uh, Facebook ads, and I'm going to show you how we prove the niche. Okay, and let's go back to the agenda for a second. Right, we're talking about niche selection. That's the first thing. We're going to talk about platform and partners. We're going to do some design research, talk about how to work with designers, and then we're going to do marketing, specifically uh, Facebook ads. So we're going to start with our bowling niche, and, and you know what? And Frank Jr. says, is kayaking good? Sure. Anything where people have a passion, right, anything people are passionate about, that's a good niche. Right. Is underwater basket weaving a good niche? Probably not because I don't know too many people that are passionate about it. But bowling, you know, there's a lot of people passionate about it, right? Cats, dogs, you know, you saw on that PDF list. Uh, let me bring it up again. 